creating fake drone shots with your DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Some people don't necessarily want the stress of flying a drone, or they might be going to a location where, because of the restrictions, they're not able to. This creates that opportunity to create shots that look like they've been filmed on a drone and haven't been. Start with your Pocket 3 low to the ground in tilt lock mode and walk forwards whilst at the same time raising the extender stick. Try and keep a steady motion. It's important to lock the focus of your Pocket 3 before you do this move. If you notice the mistake here when you don't lock the focus, it looks kind of amateur. So focus first on the main topic, then move back to the starting position on the ground to do the shot. This creates an awesome reveal shot. It looks almost like the Pocket 3 is flying over the boat towards the castle. Extra tip, look for some interesting shadows on the ground for some interesting foreground before you start. With your Pocket 3 on the extendable stick, walk forwards aiming to keep as steady as possible. Walk heel to toe and try and minimise the up and down motion. We use tilt lock mode again and then track a point in the centre of the frame. Bonus tip to create the day to night transition. To do this you want to have the Pocket 3 at the same height for both shots, so take note exactly how high you have the extendable stick. Find a spot where you're elevated above the subject. Tilt the gimbal straight down, just like you would with the drone, and hold the extendable stick above the subject. You can add in some extra motion, such as a slide or a jib up. This looks amazing with waves in slow motion. At the Arc de Triomphe in Barcelona, there's no getting away from all the tourists posing for selfies. But, if I raise my Pocket 3 on the extendable stick and I cut out the horizon line, I can still create a really nice shot without all the selfie hunters. I can use some foreground and then do a slide motion to reveal the subject. Let's say we want to get a shot of this flag of Catalonia. Taking this shot at eye level doesn't really draw the viewer to the flag because there's a lot of distracting elements. By raising the Pocket 3 up, we're able to isolate the flag a lot more. And because the flag is moving, just keeping still and holding the Pocket 3 in position is often the best shot. There's a lot of opportunities with the Pocket 3 to use the tracking feature as well for creating, you can create little orbits. Let me just try this now with the camera. So if I track the camera, okay, active track enabled, and I can just circle around. And I use this on a car video I was shooting. In these shoots where you've got a lot going on, you need a lot of camera angles. Yeah, I did get some drone shots, but you can be at a location, there's not enough time to get your drone up. You just whip out the Pocket 3, to click the active track and just spin around. Now let's put together all these fake drone shots together with some music and show you a little edit. This monopod from Telesyn, it's actually adjustable there. Now, this is quite hard to get hold of these days. Telesyn, if you're watching, please make these old versions again, because you make a lot of ones now for like action cameras and 360 cameras. This is much better for your Pocket 3. If you can't find this particular stick, then you can always get a ball head on top. There are some very, just a cheap small one on Amazon. And then that gives you this, if you want to shoot in torchlight mode, at various angles you can do. Now I am a drone guy and there's no doubt that you can capture a lot more shots quicker with your drone. On this trip though I've found by doing my fake drone shots earlier on it's made it more interesting. It's made it more interesting edit because it's forced me to think a bit more about where I actually to start filming from and then at the end of the trip I've had an absolute blast taking my drone up just thinking about 
quality with that rather than quantity and timing for the exact moment when I'm going to get that lovely silhouette of, of the castle. Whereas when I came here a few years ago, I was a bit all over the place, always wanting to get the drone out, always wanting to get the drone out. So this has made me rethink how I actually fly my drone. Thanks for watching guys, remember to like and subscribe. I've got a cool video coming up soon. Beginner Pro with more tips about how to get the most out of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. In the meantime, I've got a video to do with the anamorphic lens, which I did use for most of these shots today. I'll leave the link here and I'll see you there.